Health Watch is presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare. Here, caring for you. Welcome to Health Watch presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare. Today we're talking about oral chemotherapy. Oral chemotherapy um, was developed as a way to take our traditional, the IV agents that you get through fluid coming into the clinic, wait, getting long infusions that could take up to six to eight hours and putting it in a pill form. Who does the chemotherapy counseling service provide services for? The service is available to any adult patient who's seen at the UMass Cancer Center. It doesn't matter if you fill through another pharmacy or not. What is the role of a counselor in assisting a cancer patient who uses oral chemotherapy? So we talk to patients about the medication itself, um, how to handle it. There's special precautions you have to take with chemo at home. You can't just throw it away in the trash. How to manage their schedules if they need a calendar or how to put a calendar in their phone to stay on time and then what side effects to look out for when they should call or maybe when they need to go to the emergency room. How important is counseling for a patient who takes oral chemotherapy? When patients got chemotherapy here at the hospital or in the clinic, you have nurses, pharmacists, physicians who are monitoring you and making sure everything's going okay. But when you get an oral pill and you go home, it's up to the family and the patient themselves to kind of make sure everything's going okay. What benefits does oral chemotherapy give cancer patients? Are there any drawbacks? It can go two ways. Sometimes it's more convenient for patients, especially when we have patients who travel from far away to come to UMass to get treatment. Um, but it can also be a little bit more difficult. Um, there are some weird scheduling with oral chemos where it's not taken every day. It could be multiple times in a day. So there's convenience, but it can also be a little complicated as well. 